Hey Sonia, so we're here at St Mary's today and uh, I know you've been training, you've been involved a lot with the university. How have you found your experience? So, um, you yeah, know, it's been fantastic. You know, everybody's been really welcoming to, you know, the Irish team coming here and, um, you know, everybody's, you know, really loved it. You know, I mean, a lot of, a lot of the athletes haven't been here before. It's their first experience. So, um, you know, it's been really, really good. And, you know, I think the obviously university is well equipped to deal with visiting people. And I've often seen, um, you know, people come here during the summer. We've used the facilities a lot, you know throughout you know summer's training for different world championships and olympics um but with the olympics here in london this year it's been fantastic to have the opportunity to be based you know at st mary's a place that you know a lot of athletes would be familiar with and um and also you know i'm very familiar with the area so know that it is like the perfect location um for athletes to train in those last couple of weeks before the olympics the most important um, training time Great, and um, you said this was one of your first picks to come to, is that correct? Um, yeah, it was the only choice, really. You know, I didn't really think anywhere else could match, you know, everything that is here. You know, I think the convenience of, you know, being so close to the airport, um, accessibility to getting into the Olympic Park and the Olympic Village from here is, you know, you can go down to Richmond, you can get in there in about an hour, which is fantastic. Um, and then also the parks around here, you know, most athletes, they do a lot of training on the track but a fair amount of the training you know the non-specific training would be done in parks and you know there's no better place i think than you know the the, the royal parks around um here you know with bushy park richmond park and then along the river thames as well yeah and obviously we're a higher education institution today and i think the sector in, as a whole is embraced with it have you have you found that so far um yeah i mean i think you know i mean just the turnout here this evening for this reception has been i didn't expect so many people to be here but i think you know a lot of people are very excited about the olympics being in the area and you know to have olympic athletes train you know i suppose as your neighbors in the you know at the track here and around the running through the streets and in the parks is um you know it brings the olympics really close to people and and, um, you know, I think the experience here has been fantastic and, you know, everybody has, you know, done everything they possibly can to welcome the athletes here and all the teams. Fantastic. And you have a number of uh, students or recent graduates on your Irish team, am I correct in thinking? Um, well, I know, um, you know, the, the connection between St. Mary's and Ireland is, is really big. It goes back a long time. Um, this was, you know... The main place where where um, students came here for for teacher training, you know, over the years. Um, so yeah, no, I, I think there has been a number of our management staff who have been um, who have been to St Mary's over the years. So um, you know, they're I suppose delighted to get the opportunity to come back here and to share the experience, the good experiences that they have had here with um, you know the, the teammates and uh, I suppose the Irish team. And you've been training here. When did you arrive? Uh, we arrived here on Sunday morning. Um, we went to the village on Saturday, and then we slept in the village one night, and then came to the to St. Uh, to Linsbury Sunday morning, and then we started training here Sunday uh, afternoon. Great. And how are you finding the facilities so far? Yeah, the facilities are absolutely amazing here. Um, you know, perfect for for our preparation before the Olympic Games. Couldn't ask for anything more. And what about you? What's your individual sport? My sport is badminton. And you've been uh, finding everything, all your facilities here okay? You've got students helping you as well? Yeah, we've been over in the sports hall. Uh, we've got the whole hall to ourselves for training, which is, which is, which is perfect. Uh, they've been helping over there with some ice baths for after training to, to get some recovery in, our, in the body. And yeah, it's just been amazing. Great. And when do you move into the village? Uh, we're leaving tomorrow night going into the village because we, we have to train in the main arena uh, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So we will be uh, sleeping in the village from tomorrow night. Great. And are you excited for that opening ceremony and the everything that happens up? Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's an, a great experience. I was in Beijing, so I know how, how it is. But, you know, it's always nice to be at another Olympics. And, and so far it's been, uh, it's been perfect. Great, and obviously we're a higher education institution here. Do you think it's good the way that young people, uh, university students, and everything on as a whole has embraced the Olympic movement? Yeah, I think it's fantastic. The you know universities taking in big teams like this and showing what they have to to offer is, you know, it's a great way for the university to to show themselves and show what they have. And I, I'm pretty sure I've heard great re re reports from from a lot of people here. Everyone is delighted with the facilities, and uh, you know I know all the Irish team is is so happy to uh, that the, that the Olympic Council have set up 
uh, the training center here for us and yeah it's just been a perfect way to uh, to to have our preparations just before the olympic games